Hello, I'm Anthony Hughes, and I'd like to show you the improvements we have made to working with properties in Dorico 3.5. Firstly, it's now easier to find the property you are looking for by way of a new search bar. Search for individual properties or whole categories and find what you need in an instant. Reduce the time you spend looking for that property you set previously by choosing to show just the active properties. Now, the property system has always been an extremely powerful way of controlling the behavior of individual music items where they need to deviate from the project options. The difficulty is that sometimes changes to properties will affect all layouts. For example, when you add a harmonic to a note, you need all layouts to indicate the same information as to whether it is a natural or artificial harmonic. At other times, you want the change to a property to affect only the current layout. For example, edits made to the contour of a slur. After all, a slur that crosses a page break in a full score may well appear in its entirety on the same system in the instrumental part, so giving them the same contour would be silly. We think of properties that take effect only in the current layout to be local, whereas when they affect all layouts, they are global. Until now, it's been difficult to know exactly which layouts will be affected when setting a particular property. What's more, sometimes you may want a property that is local and affects only the current layout to be applied in all layouts. For example, perhaps the gradual style of a lengthy crescendo marking. There is the Propagate Properties command that takes the property settings for a particular selection and copies them to all layouts where that music is present. But in Dorico 3.5, we're giving you more information and power to both see and control exactly what's happening. Now, when you enable a global property, its label will show as bold and white. And you can tell which properties are local and which are global by way of these new filter controls. By clicking the Show Local Only button, the Properties panel will now display only those properties that affect the current layout, and clicking Global Only will show you those that affect all layouts. If you want to set a local property so that it affects all layouts, then over here on the right-hand side of the Properties panel, click this button to set local properties globally. So in the case of the gradual style of the lengthy crescendo, while usually it would affect just the current layout, now I can instantly push that change out to all layouts. Finally, we have made a slight change to the behavior of propagate properties, such that now when you invoke the command, it sets the active properties as global. So not only will it ensure that any edits are pushed out to all layouts, but also that any further changes to those properties made in any layout will update everywhere. I do hope you've found this video helpful. If you have, please click the thumbs up button below to let me know you've liked it and subscribe to the Dorico YouTube channel today to see many more videos like this one. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.